this is what I learned very, very late in my life, you guys. The RICO Act, the global reach of the racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations act and how it possesses a global reach making it a potent tool to combat international criminal conspiracies now we also know that it can be invoked including but not limited to american-based hotels that um, are involved in child trafficking and violence, systemic institutionalized child trafficking and violence. Here's the clincher. Even if the activities took place overseas. Now, we know that um, the hotel, um, chain, the hotel we're chain we're referring to has all manner of hotels across the world and all manner of commercial buildings across the world. So it's not about just resolving this problem in America. It's about resolving this problem across the world now there's also a cross-border conspiracy that can be looked into child trafficking rings that collaborate with american-based hotels could be prosecuted on the rico and what could they be possibly prosecuted for good question you guys they could very well be prosecuted under the RICO Act for engaging in a pattern of including but not limited to racketeering activity that involves multiple criminal acts that are actually crossing all manner of jurisdictions all over the place. But it gets better for all of you L. Ron Hubbard protégés that love to clear definitions. Here's the definition of RICO. So listen to the definition, define it in your own words, and then use it in a lot of sentences because I think we just found y'all's crushing misunderstood word. The definition of RICO is a criminal enterprise adaptable to international criminal networks. Hotels collaborating with traffickers both in the US and abroad so it doesn't matter that you're just doing this domestically and abroad when minors are sent from Switzerland to the US that counts when minors are sent from Mexico into the US that also counts when minors are sent from France into the United States that counts as well when minors are sent from Australia into the United States also counts when minors are sent from South Africa all the way to Clearwater, Florida, that counts as well. And for all of you who might be wondering right about now, but what about the co-conspirators that are abroad? Well, you know what? That also applies because Co-conspirators that are located in different countries can be held accountable under RICO for their roles in the child trafficking scheme. Get it? You get that part? And just so you guys really understand how powerful and how groundbreaking is this law, extraterritorial application rico has an extraterritorial application enabling u.s law enforcement to target criminal conduct that has impact on american interest now this is where it gets tricky for america because remember who exported this clown all around the world who exported l ron hubbard the clown all around the world to go and soil all these other countries and ensnare them in their own campaigns of fair game that we've heard ad nauseum from the media, how they've targeted politicians, they've targeted lawmakers, they've targeted anybody who literally has a critical thought of these narcissistic pieces of you know exactly what the hell we mean. So now, pattern of racketeering 
activity. The heart of a RICO case is the establishment of a pattern of racketeering activity. Child trafficking involving American-based hotels can be construed as a pattern of criminal acts, including the recruitment. Put that on your notes. Recruitment. Put it on your notes. Transportation. And put it on your notes. Exploitation. Put that all on your notes. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Grab a lot of highlighters. Circle that around many, many times. Because those three things are very important for y'all to really know. And you see, guys, the magic of RICO is that the broad scope ensures that these activities can be treated as interconnected parts of a larger criminal scheme. Get it? Did we lose any of y'all? Well, let's summarize it real quick. In summary, the RICO Act is far-reaching jurisdiction and flexibility and power U.S. authorities, listen up, U.S. authorities, to address international child trafficking operations targeting, targeting American-based hotels. Put that on your notes, American U.S.-based authorities. By leveraging RICO, law enforcement can pursue a comprehensive legal approach to dismantle these criminal networks and provide justice for the victims. Imagine that, you guys. Imagine knowing that those laws are already on the books, that this has been the law in this country, in this United States, and that, you know, apparently people are running around like, they have no idea what in the hell we're talking about. So that's something that I found out very late in life, you guys, that I didn't know. So I'd love to hear what you guys are finding out very late in your lives and share it in the comments. And, you know, let's keep this conversation going. It'd be very interesting to understand what in the literal hell is going on. Thank you, guys. I'll see you very, very, very soon. Bye-bye.